microscope. For my dog, I will have my sensor perpendicular to the tooth. Again, tips are on the inside of the white line. I'm going to come straight through. This usually will get my O1s and O2s. Then I will shift my sensor so it rocks a little bit. So my O3 is going to rock up. My generator was here. I'm now going to stand up because I rocked my sensor out. This will get my O3. I'm going to slide my sensor back so the canine crown is in between the two white lines. Two white lines, canine crown. About a 45 degree-ish angle. This will get my crown. Then I will slide my sensor back behind the canine so my premolars are right on the edge of the sensor. This will allow me to essentially take two shots. I come in at midline and stand up just a little bit. That will get my canine root, and then I can stand up to be more like a 45, and that will get my premolars. If I run this back, it's kind of high in through the eye. I like to say high in through the eye at a 45. That will get my five, six, seven. For my 08, I like to have the tip of the uh, crown in the middle of the length, high and through the eye at a 45. If my distal root is lying on top of my nine, I can come from behind and that will separate the distal root from the nine. I will slide back until I hit structure, turn, dip and dive. Lateral campus of the eye runs right in line with the nine. Same thing, high in through the eye and you can rock from behind and that will get my first and second molar. In order to do my mandible, I do like to rock so the mandible is up. Again, sensor on the inside of the white line. I'm going to come in totally perpendicular to the sensor. This will get my incisors. I like to slide it back and rock it. Canines going into the L of the two white lines. Rock to match the sensor. That will get the crown of my canine. I'm going to slide it back so it's sitting right behind the canine. I will take three views. Perpendicular will get both canine roots. Stand up just a little bit, about 10 to 20 degrees. That will get my lateral canine, and I'm gonna stand up to be about 45 degrees to the sensor, and that will get my first, second, and third premolar. I'm then going to slide this down, so I'm running parallel to the mandible, and I'm gonna have the peak of the sensor match the peak of the crown of the 08. So it's kind of at a 45 down. I'm going to come in perpendicular to the sensor, this is starting the submarine dive down, push underneath the mandible and down simultaneously. This will rock the sensor so it's running totally parallel to the mandible. If it's a giant tooth, you're gonna have to take crown view first, perpendicular, push the sensor down so it's below the crown. You'll get both roots. And then I'm going to finish the submarine to come back up to follow the TMJ, pushing up with my thumb and down with my index finger so it shifts and then I can slide it back. So it's following the curve of the mandible. Again, I'm gonna come in perpendicular. If you take the image and you're too close, you can rock from behind just a little bit and that can push the 11 up. 